All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Sunday, December 10th slated games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. How do you start us off? Small college connoisseur, and it pulled off for me today. I gave out North Florida minus four and a half against Georgia Southern. And North Florida, they dominated this game, especially in the second half. They won the second half by a score of 37 to 22, so outscored Georgia Southern by 15 points. And that pushed us to cover that spread there. Georgia Southern has now led at halftime in back-to-back games and got killed in the second half. I feel bad for them. They're 0 for and I think it's going to continue for a while. But I did I did realize they got Mo Spates as an assistant coach. Don't know if you guys mm-hmm. realize who Mo Spates is, former Warriors NBA champion. So as soon as I saw him roaming on the sidelines, got a little worried. But ultimately, Georgia Southern sucks like they always do. Yeah, and I uh, I went 2-0. Uh, I won a game in the Big Ten. I had Alabama plus 6.5. I also had the over 161.5 points going up against Purdue. That was probably the best game I've seen in college basketball so far this season. Alabama was dominating early. Purdue came back. Alabama dominated early in the second half. Purdue took a 10-point lead. Alabama came back. It was down to the wire the entire game. So Alabama did cover, and we got the over 161.5. 2-0 days. Swept the board. Let's do it again, guys. Trey, start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be attacking maybe the best game on the Sunday slate, in my opinion. Give me this Princeton at St. Joseph's game. In my opinion, this is going to be the best game, especially because these two teams have been showing that they are playing some elite basketball and have real March aspirations. That's because Princeton, they come this game with a 9-0 record and are 7-2 ATS. And they're also 5-0 on the road this season. That marks them as ranked number three in the mid-major top 25 poll. And they beat some good teams. They beat Rutgers at Rutgers by seven. And they beat Hofstra at Hofstra by seven as well. And this Princeton team, they shoot a ton of threes and they and they make a ton of free throws. And they play some stingy defense. But St. Joseph's, they come this game with a 7-2 record and are 7-2 ATS as well. And they're also 5-1 at home. The only teams that had beat St. Joseph's this year was Kentucky in overtime, and they had a wild loss to Texas A&M Conference. And St. Joseph's, they come this game with a top five offense behind the perimeter. They shoot a ton of three-pointers, and they make a ton of three-pointers. And they also come ranked top 15 in field goal percentage allowed. They force teams to shoot 37% from the field. So I'm going to take the home team in this game. Give me St. Joseph's here on the money line whenever it drops. I think it's going to be the great pick in this game because Princeton, yes, they are a good team, but they just do not play a deep rotation. They really only play seven players in their rotation. Their starters play over 80% of the total minutes per game. So if St. Joe's can come to this team and get Princeton in foul trouble early, I think it's going to bode very well for us in this game. And look for Eric Reynolds to leave his mark and dominate for St. Joe's in this game because he averages 16.2 points per game. But I think he's going to dominate here because Princeton, yes, they do have some good perimeter defense, but they do allow a lot of uh, driving kicks. So, I think St. Joseph's is going to dominate here in this home game. So give me St. Joseph's here on the money line in this big home game versus Princeton. Yeah, try like that play. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at Colorado going up against Miami. I'm going to take Miami on the money line to beat Colorado at plus 110. Both teams should be coming into this game as top 25 teams. But Colorado is being disrespected just a little bit. They do have two losses on the season. One of them was against Florida State in overtime. The other one was against a ranked Colorado State team on the road. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch Colorado State, I suggest you do so. But Miami this season only has the one loss, and that was to a ranked Kentucky team at Kentucky. I think they're the better team in this matchup, but this is going to be a neutral site game. It's not going to be at Miami. That's why the spread's plus one for the Hurricanes. This should be a high-scoring game between the two teams as well, as both teams are scoring 85-plus points per game. So I'm also going to take the over 154.5 as another play. Both teams, offensively speaking, are some of the best in the nation. And Miami has four players averaging 14-plus points per game. On the other side, Colorado has three players averaging over 14 points per game, and they have one of the best scores in the nation on their team as well. And K.J. Simpsons, who's averaging 20 points per game for them. The Buffaloes, they have more depth than Miami, but I think the starting five for Miami is just too good for Colorado to keep up. I'm going to take the Hurricanes on the money line straight up to win the game, plus 110, and the over 154.5 should be another great game on a Sunday afternoon. But, Nate, 
What do you like tomorrow? This hasn't been my week. I've been trying to play with the goats. Now I gotta fade you one more time. I'm gonna go with Colorado on the money line for that same game. I mean, this is purely, purely a system play for me. If you don't believe in systems, take Bears pick, but I feel like ranked teams at home when the other team is favored, usually that other team comes and pulls it out. Um, I'm not really too sure, and I've definitely seen that stunning loss Colorado had to Colorado State. Not too sure how Miami, Florida has been doing this season, but again, purely system play. I'm going to take the minus one. I think the books know what they're talking about. Yeah, I don't I don't hate the play. I think I think Miami's the better team, but Colorado's been really good this season. Trey, did I send you the video of Colorado State that we're talking about them? Uh, no, but I will say this nugget. This game is in Brooklyn. Right. It's a neutral side game. Yeah. Does yeah, that change so I think it's going to – I mean, I think both teams are going to show up for this big, yeah. big game. That's, anyway. that's why I'm taking the money line specifically and not the points because I feel like it's going to come down to it. I don't, I don't want that one and a half for one. Yeah, all right. All right. Another head to head between you and me. I think we are one and one against each other. Maybe I got two. two. I got two. Two. Two, and, two and one for you. All right. Yeah. I got to win this one. Give me back the 500 against you. All right. <laughs> Let's move on to the player props. Try how you start us off. Yeah, guys. And this marks two days in a row. And I'm trying not to pull out my hair because I don't got very much left. Uh, mm-hmm. But I gave Hunter Dickinson over 31 and a half PRAs versus Missouri. Beyond upsetting, two days in a row, I basically lost on the hook. I barely missed the over. Dickinson finished with 13 points, 16 rebounds, and only one assist. Got 30 PRAs, needed 31 and a half, just needed one more bucket from the guy. Come on. Yeah, and I went uh, 1-0. and I had Mark Sears of Alabama to go over 17 and a half points against Purdue. He had, I'm not exaggerating, he had one of the best games I've ever seen from a college player in a while. Alabama was running flare screens for him the entire game. He didn't miss his shots from the outside. I'm, I'm almost positive he scored 40 points in the game. I didn't get an entire tally check. But if he didn't score 40 points, I'd be very impressed. He didn't miss a shot in this game, it felt like. So I did go 1-0 and on that one. Let's move on to our plays for tomorrow. Trey, I'll have you start us off. Yeah, I'm going to back Nate here and go with the Colorado guy. Give me KJ Simpson to go over his points versus Miami. I really love this over for Simpson in this game because he has been the Buffalo's key player, especially on offense. That's because KJ, he comes in this game averaging 19.4 points per game, which is ranked in the top 50 in college basketball because – this season, he's been very dependable. So far, his lowest point total was only 12 points in a 31-point win against Grambling State where he did not play his normal minutes. But besides that, he usually finishes with 15 to 22 points and usually finishes with 20-plus points. And I expect him to get a ton of opportunities here in this game. That's because Miami, they allow some good points to be scored on them against good teams because Miami, they allowed Kentucky to score 95 on them. Kansas State, my Kansas State Wildcats, they're struggling to score offensively really. And Kansas State scored 83 on them. If Colorado can get to that 80-point number, this bet I feel like is a sure one because Colorado, they run basically all their offense through K.J. Simpson. And with this game being played in Brooklyn, I think he's going to shine under these bright lights. So so give me K.J. Simpson to go over his points versus Miami. That's right. I like that one. I'm going to say in the same game for my player problem, take Wuga Poplar to go over his total points against Colorado. Whenever I was breaking this game down, I did say both these teams are averaging over 85 points per game. This should be a fast-paced, high-scoring game. So I'm going to take an over for one of the best players on the court. Poplar this season for Miami is averaging 16.5 points per game, and he's been the best scorer they've had all season long. He has scored 13-plus points in every game but one this season, and he scored 15-plus points in five of the eight games so far. I'm assuming we're going to get this at 15.5 or 16.5, but whatever it does come out at, I'm confident of him scoring at least 15 or more points in this game. He's also had three games scoring 19-plus points. He is a microwave on the court, and whenever he starts knocking shots down, it's hard to get him stopped. Colorado this season, they rank 147th, allowing 70 points per game. Not terrible. So I do like Poplar here to go find himself some open shots in this game. Give me Poplar to go over his total points against Colorado as my play. Nate, who do you like? You almost convinced me to go head-to-head again there, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to take KJ Simpson. I like that pick. I feel like uh, Colorado will run it up. I don't think the score goes over too much, but I think KJ Simpson puts him away. So I'm going to rely on KJ Simpson to come to my side of the, uh, the country and handle business, stand on business at that. Yeah, that one, I feel like that one might be like 18 and a half, 17 and a half for you guys. He is averaging close to 20 points per game. So I do like all those plays. I think the over in, the, in those games is going to be really good because I think both teams can score 80 plus points. But try let's move on to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with St. Joseph's here on the money line versus Princeton. They're the home team in this big game. This is going to be a pretty big mid-major battle here, and I have a lot of confidence with the home team. They've been playing some good teams, barely lost to Kentucky in overtime. So they're battle-tested, and I'm also going with K.J. Simpson here over his points versus Miami. Best player on Colorado. 
It's games in Brooklyn, in Barclays Center. So I think he's going to shine under the bright lights. Yep. Head to head, me and Nate, I'm going to take Miami on the money line. He's got Colorado. I'm going to take Wuga Poplar, the best player for Miami, over his points in that Colorado game. Should be a high scoring game, like I said. But guys, that's going to do it for NCAA basketball plays and props for Sunday, December 10th slated games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 